What's up, YouTube? Youth Director coming to you from my garage, where today we're going to build a riser for my home theater using that wood right there. But first, we have to take care of a huge nagging problem before we can even get started. Let me show you what it is. This is my garage. No way, no how are we going to build a theater riser in here until this mess is cleaned up. Of course, this is from all sorts of projects and just throwing things in the garage to get it out of the way. So, with that said, let's get this cleaned up and I'll see you in a few. Well, there you have it, folks. The garage may not be cleaned up, but at least it's picked up enough so we can get some work done and take this wood right here and build us a riser for the home theater. So, excited to get that going. Gonna take a little bit of a break, get something to drink, come back after maybe a little bit of lunch and get to work. All right, after giving me some lunch, getting something to drink, taking a little bit of rest and also doing some mathematication, uh, how to figure out all the different cuts and things like that. I think we're about ready to get started making some cuts with these this wood. So let me show you what we got. So here's what we have. These are our two by fours. We're gonna make trusses. Um, it's kind of overkill, but we're gonna make trusses for this riser. And uh, for the trusses, we're gonna have kind of studs in between. We have to make 50 of those. So that's the biggest thing that we have uh, to make cut wise. And so what I've done was uh, those cuts are gonna be 12 and a quarter inches. So from the blade right here of this compound miter saw, from this blade right here all the way to that block is 12 and a quarter inches. And so we're gonna take this first piece of wood, measure it out, cut it, make sure it is 12 and a quarter inches, and then we can just go and do 50, 50, 50 really quick and uh, hopefully get done with those uh, pretty fast. After those, we're going to end up having to do um, some larger cuts. So see, you can see there right there, seven foot, 11 inches, three foot, four inches, six foot, four and a half inches, and 17 inches for uh, some other parts. So not too bad after that. This is all of our OSB. That's 23 and a, uh, 30 seconds of an inch. And so we've got, this is what makes it hard right here because when we put the sheathing on top and on the sides, we have to make sure that all, all the sheathing is um, perfect. And so all the trusses underneath and all the framework underneath has to be just slightly smaller than the dimensions that we have. Like it's, it's gonna be basically six by eight by 16 inches tall. Everything has to be slightly smaller than that to make it work. 
So that's where all the math come into play, and it took me a while to kind of get it all figured out. So first, we're gonna get started again with this, these 50 cuts we have to make of 12 and a quarter inches. Hopefully, this little jig I have is set up properly, and it'll work and we can get those knocked out. So here we go. So really quick before we get started, I had to make one adjustment because I was trying to put this uh, two by four by eight feet onto this uh, miter saw and it did not balance at all. So couldn't do it. So I had to make another part of this jig to help me out. So let me show you what that is. So I'd screw another piece of wood in here just to kind of support the long end of the two by four by eight. So we have our block end right there, which is our stop miter saw and the support over here. So now that I've got that made, let's see if we can get going. We have 50 different blocks, two by four, by 15 and a quarter, actually 12 and a quarter, 15 and a quarter, so it's gonna be when you make it with a truss. So here's what we got. So we have 50 of them right there. Uh, the only issue that I had was kind of halfway through, I didn't realize this, I started cutting just a little bit of an angle because right here, this was loose and it started slightly tilted an angle. But I think those pieces aren't too bad. They're pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. If not, I do have some other wood that I can use uh, to make sure that we get it correct. So anyway, let's go ahead and start looking at our other pieces of wood, cut the long pieces of wood, and, uh, and then start putting these things together. two by fours are cut uh, somehow. I ended up with an extra one. So still one left over there. Of course I got a couple two by eights and there's the sheathing to go on the outside. But we have our eight 17 inch cuts. We have again our 50 12 and a quarter inch cuts. We have our 10 three foot four inch cuts. We have our four seven foot 11 inch cuts and then we also have our six foot four and a half inch cuts there's four of those as well so got all this taken care of and all this cut so uh gonna take a little break and then we'll be back uh putting these together Sinker, uh, 16D penny nails to 
to do all of these trusses with, so this should be fun. So this is a long one. We've got, I'm gonna put um, five different studs in this one. Sort of mark it, and then again, um, you know, basically four feet in here. some earplugs with this. <laughs> Pretty loud. So just got one more piece, finish up this truss, uh, do a little bit of time lapse and uh, get some of these trusses done. by four trusses a little more time consuming and energy consuming than I thought uh, also not quite as square as I would like so hopefully the shorter pieces I can make a lot more square and then when I put uh, these to it it'll kind of square itself out we'll see or I can make some adjustments so uh, here's a little bit of a, a view of the finished product for the big two two uh, peat trusses so seven feet 11 inches uh, so the thing is if I turn one of them around it doesn't lay uh, straight with the other one so they're not quite quite square but we'll see um, we'll make it work and uh, anyway time for another break <laughs> before we get going on these others you can see I uh, definitely got some sweat drink, drenching off of me a little hot today all right so it took a long time to do those other little stud trusses and everything. So I've been listening to some help uh, for this, this little bit. So these guys are gonna help me hammer in and we're gonna get right to it. All right guys, come on.
All right, so we've got those hammered. I'm gonna put the studs on them. Thank you guys for the help. I really appreciate it. Everybody say hi to YouTube. Hello. All right, thank you. Okay, there are That went a lot better uh, with the kids helping me get all of those uh, done, nailed in. I was able to do those trusses much quicker. Now it's time to go in and put the first part together, uh, the, the, the biggest base part, which is like four by eight down in the home theater and see how it fits together. So fingers crossed. All right, well, we're down here in the, the theater room and got this started put together. It's a little bit off top because it's definitely not square. That issue uh, was definitely big for us. So anyway, I wanted to show you uh, what we have so far um, on these trusses. So here we, a little bit big for the space as well. Should have two feet on each side. Of course, I don't have it centered right now. There's a little bit more room over on that side uh, than there is on this side. This room is 12 feet wide and this is gonna be eight foot wide. So I wanted to leave two feet on either side. Now, if I have an issue with it, I'll just push it more towards that wall over there uh, to make it work so people don't like, you know, hit their legs or anything when they come in. But I do plan on lighting this up with LEDs and uh, to make it um, work. So we'll see if it does. Definitely a hard process, a little harder than I expected, uh, but hopefully the end result will be good. So until uh, next time, well, not till next time really, but uh, just going to take a little bit of a break again and then we'll get right back at it. Well, it turns out I decided to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I went upstairs. I just did one more little thing, uh, basically. I just went upstairs and I got this right here, a little square, and I took my square, just put it down here on all of these. So you can see, just to make sure that they look pretty good. Now that one's off just a little bit, you can see it's wobbling. Uh, but just put my square in all of those to make sure they're pretty close. All of these trusses are nailed in on this side to the main long truss, but over here, just that end and that end over there are nailed in. These three are still loose and kind of ran out of gas tonight. I uh, decided that what I'm gonna do is just make us a, a, a two part pasta. I guess it could be a three part because I still have to make one more uh, set like this, but instead of being four by eight, it's gonna be basically two by six with a step. Um, as well and then I have to put the, on the outside put the sheathing put the, the sheathing on the top and also you know I have a little bit of uh, padding to go on it and also have carpet to go on it that hopefully will match the carpet that we have in here we'll see uh, it's not from the same place I got the original carpet from Home Depot but that was special order I found some carpet at Menards that was very very close so hopefully it will work so anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I'm learning as I do this, and I'm sure I've made a lot of mistakes, and some of you guys out there be like, why did you do this, why did you do that? Basically, it's the first time I've done something like this, so I just wanted to share it with you all. And if it helps you out, great. Uh, if it's, you enjoy watching it, great. Uh, like the video and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.